All right, hello everyone. My name is GStar321, and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough for Resident Evil Code Veronica X. This is on the Xbox 360. Okay, so this is the HD remake that came out about the same time as Resident Evil 4 HD remake came out. You know, back in around September last year. All right, so here we go. Let's get it started. This game is old, okay, it is very, very old, came out about a decade ago. Um, I remember playing it back in the day on the PS2, I was a young teenager back then. I believe it also came out on the Sega Dreamcast, but I never had that console. Um, this was really the first Resident Evil game that I actually finished. Um, I did play, the first ever Resident Evil game that I played was Resident Evil 2, and I never did finish that. Um, I was very young when it came out, you know. I remember just trying to get through that first section, you know, where you're running through the fire, there's zombies everywhere, and there's just shit happening, okay? However, I'd never finished it. Uh, I did play Resident Evil 1 after that because I was so impressed by Part 2. Never finished that one again, however, it was a fucking great game uh, from what I remember, you know, I can barely remember anything of it there. Um, Resident Evil 3, I never even heard of or touched back in the day, okay? Uh, and the other sort of spin-off ones, which I, I don't even know what they're called, I never played them. Part 4 didn't even play till a few years back, a couple years ago. I've actually got a uh, walkthrough commentary of that one up on my channel as well, you can watch that. Played that uh, on the Xbox 360, the HD remake as well. But yeah, this was actually the first Resident Evil game which I got, you know, played and finished and I fucking loved it, okay, it was fucking great. So, I'm going to be going through this game <coughs> again, you know, reliving that goodness. Uh, I did have a read on, if you guys know, the IGN website, you know, which reviews games and all that sort of shit. That's my sort of go-to review website for games and all that actually gave this HD remake, Code Veronica, a 5 out of 10. Pretty shocked when I saw that. Uh, I had a quick read of it, you know, they were sort of just bashing the uh, graphics, you know, that they're not HD enough or whatever. Um, controls are dated, you know, and you know, not really scary and all that sort of shit, but, you know, to me, if I was reviewing it, I'd be giving it a solid... 9 out of 10, you know, this game to me is the definition of survival horror. Uh, I did one playthrough prior to starting this walkthrough commentary because, you know, I don't want you want to see, I don't want you guys to see me running around for 3 or 4 hours trying to find a fucking key for a door, you know, which is actually what I did in my first playthrough because I couldn't remember where certain items were, you know, for puzzles and keys and all that sort of shit. So this is going to be a clean run, there's going to be no sort of, oh fuck I forgot the fucking dagger to open this door, I'm going to have to run back for 5 hours and go get that, blah blah blah. None of that's going to happen in this walkthrough, okay, it's it's all going to be good, it's going to flow, which is really good, okay. But uh, yeah, I was quite shocked that uh, IGN gave it a score of 5 out of 10, but uh, don't listen to that, you know, this game is fucking awesome. If you're into survival horror, uh, this game is great. It is no, it is not an action-packed title, you know, like uh, uh, Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 5. Uh, this is more of a puzzle-based, slow-paced, uh, creepy atmosphere, creepy music type game, which is really, really good. You know, the game pulls it off well. So here we go. We're just getting started now. And the basic story, look, I don't even know to be honest. Because I've never finished a Resident Evil game uh, back in the day, you know, part 1, 2 or 3, certain characters in this game, you know, even part 4 and 5, like Wesker, I don't even know who the fuck he is, okay? It's, I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But, um, you know, that certainly didn't hamper my experience of enjoying this game whatsoever, so. What's this guy doing here? Alright, so here we go. If I was equipped with a light, I could see outside, alright? Just open up your, uh... No, it opens it up for you. If you've got a lighter there, just equip that, okay? And that's all you need to do for this part. So we'll get a bit of talking, I think, now. Perfect. 
take note of that. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna die. Alright. So you'll notice the, uh... Through like a medicine capsule here, just in front of me on the ground. Keep that in mind, okay? Because, uh... Basically, he's run out of the medicine, if I have a look at it here. Yep, on the floor. It's empty, alright? So he's run out of medicine. It's like an anti-bleeding medicine. Um... Later on in the game, we will find some more, which we need to bring back to him. Uh, it's actually an achievement related to the Xbox and PS3. You know, you'll get an achievement for bringing him back some of the medicine. But more importantly, he gives you a lockpick in exchange for the medicine, which is uh, fucking awesome, okay? Because it will open certain cabinets or drawers that were previously locked, and they do contain a lot of useful items, uh... Most notably, like, grenade launcher ammo, okay, which is really handy. So here we go, his eyes are closed. Yep, he's bleeding, okay, so he needs more of that uh, hemo hemostatic, whatever the fuck it's called, medicine, alright. So here's just telling you you're a prisoner on this island. Look, I don't even know this, look, I don't understand the story too well of this, okay. My idea of it, uh, you're looking for your brother Chris... Uh, who was here for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, you were caught, they've locked you up, okay? Uh, this guy was like a prison guard or some shit. Just picked up a knife there. Um, <coughs> and now that there has been a, like a an outbreak of whatever the virus is called, you know, there's zombies everywhere. Uh, everyone's sort of dead or turned into a zombie type thing. And that guy's obviously been bitten or some shit, I don't know, he's bleeding and whatever, and he doesn't care anymore, so he's just letting you go free. So this is where the game begins, okay? There was a ink ribbon and typewriter just there, okay? I didn't bother saving because, look, it's not necessary at this point. I've only got one ink ribbon, uh, so I'm going to save it for a bit later. I'm sort of running back and forward on these walls here because sometimes... Look, it's hard to sort of spot the items in this game, especially the herbs. Uh, they're very hard to spot, especially if you've got low brightness while you're playing. So I tend to sort of hug and run along the walls and keep mashing the X button, you know, to try and trigger a pickup or trigger some text or something to appear, okay? So here we go, there's a truck here, <coughs> and... Like I was saying before, you know, the story, I'm, I have never really finished a Resident Evil game besides this one, Part 4 and Part 5, so look, I don't even know who Wesker is, what his role is, okay, but it's not necessary to enjoy this game, alright, just just take it with an open mind, this is just a survival horror game, alright, it's going to scare you, there's zombies, you kill them, you do puzzles, you know, what more could I fucking want in a game, it's awesome. Alright, so there we go. There's just a truck there. Dead body in a briefcase can be seen inside. Take note of that because the briefcase, we need to come back and get that. Um, it's important, alright? First time I played this game, I was so bad at, you know, I was just a kid or a teenager or whatever, just no fucking idea. You know, and I must have spent like a day trying to figure out what to do, but. Now that I'm older, this shit is so much easier. Alright, so... Here we go, there's a... Oh, okay, there you go. And it's surrounded by fire. Alright. Need to get a fire hydrant later on to, uh... Get rid of that. Oh, my God. 
So there's zombies everywhere. We haven't really got a weapon. I did pick up a combat knife, but, you know, I don't use the knife once in this game. It's fucking useless, alright? Don't just run past them for now. And we're about to get a cutscene here. Here we go. Now, before he starts talking, the guy up there that's shooting at you, I just want you to take note of the dialogue, okay? The dialogue in this game is fucked. It is fucking insane, alright? It's crazy Japanese. I don't know. Look, just listen, okay? Here we go. Wait, wait. Don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. We're right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Well, once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Yep, so... Now there we go, we've just gotten a gun now as well, which is really good. Basically, go over here, there's some ammo first, okay, there's always a bit of ammo on this dead body, okay. You're going to be scrounging for ammo and herbs for like the first, oh, I don't know, first third of the game with Claire, okay. You actually play two campaigns in this, uh, Claire and Chris. I've completed the Claire one, no problem, and I'm just going to do a walkthrough of that while I'm still fresh on it. Then I'll go ahead and do a playthrough of, uh, oh here we go, we've got the prison gate, hawk's pitcher cave into the hollow, okay, so we can't go through there yet, we need to find like a uh, hawk's emblem. So yeah, we do Chris's campaign later on, okay, but before I upload that, you know, I haven't, I have not finished the game with Chris, I don't believe, maybe back in the day I did, but look, I cannot remember a fucking thing about that, alright, but, uh, once I get up to his, I will do just a normal run through, then I'll upload the walkthrough as well. Sort of what I'm doing with this, you know, so don't, like I said, so don't watch me scrounging around for four hours to try and find a fucking key to open a door, okay? Because I hate watching walkthroughs that do that. And here's just a playing manual, just look at that because it was actually taking up a spot in my inventory slot there, I just noticed. So just by reading that, that'll free up a slot. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. So yeah, if you notice the dialogue that just happened before, that guy we met was Steve, okay? Um, one of the things IGN did point out is that the dialogue is fucked in this game. And look, I have to agree with that. Um, it's just, I don't, I can't even, I don't even know how to describe it, okay? There's no words. Um, I'm just going to say that it's a Japanese game, the dialogue is insane, um, but it, you know, it kept me entertained, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, especially when we meet the main enemy in this game, Sir Alfred, um, it's just going to be even more crazy dialogue and shit going on as well. So I just shot these zombies here with the gun, alright. You don't need to kill enemies in this game. Uh, if you, for example, if I exit this door now and re-enter, those zombies will have respawned, okay? So, certain sections in the game like that, you know, where enemies just keep respawning, zombies will just keep respawning. Uh, it's very frustrating, so I sort of know all the sections where they do, and if I can, I will just run, alright, to conserve ammo. So, uh, this is what I mean by true survival horror, you know what I mean? Just saving your bullets, running, freaking out, especially when we count on the fucking dog enemies, okay, I can't stand the dogs, it's fucked, 
Just combining the two green herbs there. My first run through with Claire, I was using single green herbs. Uh, it's not in a, it's not effective. Okay, it doesn't heal much at all. The most effective method I found would, uh, what to do was to um, combine green and green or green and red. Okay, pretty much will heal both. Uh, both will pretty much heal full health. All right. Now what I do is I wait till I'm on either dark orange caution or danger. Preferably dark orange caution because if you're on danger, okay, which is like red health. Uh, and you get grabbed by one zombie, you're fucked, okay? That is it. Uh, you pretty much take one hit when you're on danger and you're fucked. And if I, you know, play play this for an hour and I still haven't saved, I'm going to get fucking angry, alright? So, I tend to always use it when I'm on dark orange caution. And I've just brought up the map here, okay? The yellow sort of doors are, that we can go through, the red one there, indicates a locked door. That was actually the uh, door with the hawk's emblem on it. We go there a bit later. So this is just sort of how the map looks, okay? It's pretty simple, easy. Uh, just so you know sort of where you have and haven't been. Um, my first playthrough I spent like an half an hour because I got stuck trying to figure out where the fuck I should, should have, uh, sorry, where I should have supposed to be going. Um, but upon looking at the map, you know, I found that uh, one of the doors that were previously locked was unlocked because I actually had a key to unlock it and I didn't even realise it, so... You're not going to see that shit here, okay? I'm just going to skip all the bullshit. Um, there'll be no errors in this walkthrough, okay? It's just going to be a clean run. Perfect, basically. Because I know I'm still fresh, you know, I just did the playthrough recently. So I'm just doing this walkthrough now. Everything is still fresh in my mind, so it's just going to flow beautifully. Zombies here attacking the window. They'll jump in right now. There we go. All right. It's just you just noticed he just dropped two guns off the back of him. Okay. It's two submachine guns. Very very nice. Okay, because we are limited on ammo for the start of this game. There we go really nice guns. They take up uh, two invent- oh fuck, there's a zombie, yep. Forgot to uh, fucking hell, I forgot. Yep, and I'm getting grabbed, that's fucked. Completely forgot about that zombie there, alright, um, Jesus Christ, fucking hell, get the fuck off. It's bullshit, man. Completely forgot about that fucking zombie that creeps up on you there, that bastard. That was pretty sloppy, I got hit a few times there. That was really bad. I'm only on a uh, yellow caution though, so it's okay. No big deal. Just check uh, over here in case there's some items. I can't remember if there is. Nothing there. I think there might be some ammo over in the corner with that blood stain here. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, so we can get out of here now. Actually, it took me a while, you know, to get used to the controls for this game again. You know, after playing and doing a walkthrough for uh, Resident Evil 4, you know, and just uh, most notably the reload feature, like in Resident Evil 4 and 5, you know, you just hold with your gun drawn, you just press A or whatever it is to do a quick reload. But in this, um, oh fuck, here we go. Creepy shit. It's under there. Yeah, but in this one. Uh, you can't actually do that. You have to press start, go into the uh, menu there and combine um <laughs> Here we go. So if you're playing this the first time, you know, you're going to freak out with shit like this, but um, I know exactly what's coming, so I'm not, I've got no fear whatsoever, you know, this is just going to be a sweet walkthrough of the game. But uh, actually the first time I did play this, you know, I was walking like this, fucking slow as hell. Uh, creeping against the walls and shit, but it's all good, I know what's going to happen. Alright, so there's a padlock on this door. Can't go. It's just for a quick sort of... When we get the key to open that door, you know, we don't have to run all the way around the building in. We can just take a shortcut through there. we we'll get that later. A couple more zombies here, take care of them. So yeah, the reload... Uh, 
I mean, if I run out of bullets, yep, see, she's just done a reload there. Uh, you can do it manually, but like I said, to do it manually, you have to press start, go into the uh, inventory screen, and combine your ammo with the gun. And when I actually played Resident Evil 4 for the first time, you know, I thought that's how you're supposed to do it as well. But, uh, not in Resident Evil 4, okay? It's just a simple hold right trigger, whatever it is, and press A. And he does the reload like that. And there's that gun there, okay? It's a pretty cool weapon. Um, it can actually shoot two zombies at a time, so, for example, with Claire, if I'm standing here like this, that zombie to my right, uh, if there was a zombie to my left as well, and I pressed right trigger and started shooting, she'd actually put her arms out sideways and shoot both zombies at the same time. So it's a really good weapon. Try not to use too much of the ammo straight away, okay? Because, uh, look, you can. Look, ammo in this game after the first third of this game is going to become plentiful, okay? You're going to be getting a crossbow weapon, you're going to get grenade launcher, you know, it's all happening, so... Please deposit any But I try to conserve as much as possible, you know, just box. save it on dogs and fucked enemies, okay? Because I fucking hate dogs in this game. So here we've just got to deposit metallic items to get through this uh, machine. If you're concerned about what's metallic or not, you can actually try and put it in. As you can see, no need to deposit. It's not metal, okay? Just try to deposit a herb there. And put in the lighter as well, don't forget that, okay? And you can go through. There's heaps of zombies outside to my left there. I'll have a look at the window here. Yep, outside they're everywhere. Um, you can actually grab all your items, items back again, but there's no need here, it's just a little room. Uh, grenade launcher ammo, very, very useful. Okay, make sure you can grab as much of this shit as possible. Whenever you see it, grab the grenade launcher ammo, okay, because enemies that we encounter later on in the game pretty much will only take one, uh, two hits with the grenade launcher and they'll die as opposed to fucking 40 bullets or some shit, okay? So that is a very, very useful item to uh, pick up. Alright. This manual here is just explaining the scanner to my right. Uh, basically, what you do is you uh, put an object on the scanner, okay? It'll scan its data. Then you put a piece of metal to the right and it will replicate exactly what you scanned in, okay? So, we actually find the Hawk's emblem here and we can't take it through because it's metal, obviously, you know what I mean? But, if you remember at the start of the game there was that briefcase in that chopper. Uh, that briefcase contains a special alloy which is like anti-metal detection. So, you know, we put the Hawk's emblem in the scanner, we put the anti-metal and that, this thing, this is what this note's actually talking about as well. Um, yeah, we put the uh, an the alloy on the plate there and it'll scan it into the alloy and we can take it through the metal detector, no problem. And uh, put it on that door at the start of the game. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. 
What was that all about? Mmm. So this, uh, this Steve kid, he's got some issues, okay? But, you know, it's entertaining. It's all good shit. Oop, go back here and uh, press this. This actually releases the shutter from outside, okay? Can't go through there yet, alright? There's actually um, ink ribbon on... Oh, there we go. Almost fucking forgot about that. The Hawk's emblem, okay? So that's what we need. There's an ink ribbon here. If you want to save your game, alright? Um, I'm not going to save it just yet. Look, I'm very confident of getting through this, okay? Like I said, I've done a previous playthrough before starting this walkthrough. I know everything that needs to be done and pretty much everything that's coming up, alright? So, this stage, I'm not going to bother saving. You can, more than welcome to, you know. Um, the amount of ink ribbons you get is fucking insane, alright? I think when I finished the game, my first run through, I had like... 23 ink ribbons or something ridiculous like that. Alright, so just depositing all my grenade launcher rounds and shit in here. Um, now you're probably thinking this is fucked because I have to leave them all here. How am I supposed to bring them, bring them with me? Well, you can't, okay, till later on in the game. Uh, that door back there that actually said, you know, it was blocked from the other side, you can actually come in through that way a lot later on in the game, alright? So don't be worried, you will be able to get all that shit later on in the game, alright? And this is just a security deposit box, you know, not to be confused with your stash, okay? Uh, one of the reasons I'm not saving uh, just yet is because I like to sort of save where there's stashes next to the the typewriters. Basically a stash is just an extra storage place for you, you know, to put items that you, you don't have enough room to carry, okay? So like grenade launcher rounds and extra herbs and, and whatnot that you can't, you know, carry on you. So pretty much with every typewriter there's a uh, stash next to it, alright? So we'll open this, a couple of zombies there. Now there's this thing you can, to the right of me which I'm going to shoot, alright, and it explodes. Here we go, so, saves you a couple of bullets, you know, I mean, they don't kill the zombies outright, but they shouldn't take too many more shots to go down, as you can see, they're on fire, a couple of them, alright, just take care of these ones, oh, fuck, he fucking closed in the ground on me, the bastard, fucking asshole. I'm going to kill this other one here that's, uh, I don't know, ah, oh, fuck, I know, Jesus Christ, playing pretty sloppy. I think I'm overconfident, you know what I mean? I'm just running into the zombies. I don't even care. But, um, just be a little cautious, you know. Don't go gung-ho on this shit. Alright, so we need that fire extinguisher to put out the fire that was trapping the briefcase at the start of the game, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get that just in a second. I'm still on yellow caution, that's fine. No need to heal yet. Pick up the padlock key that was on the guillotine here, alright? And this is actually a door here, we can't go through yet. Indigo blue plate, alright. Come back here later in the game. Guillotine there, covered in blood. This is actually cool, you know, if you run around pressing X on all this sort of stuff, fresh blood stuck to the wall, person might have been tied here. You know, it's got some really creepy shit that it says, you know. I like pressing X on all that sort of stuff and reading what it has to say. Adds to the atmosphere, I think. Um, it's really cool, so, if you're playing this for the first time, you know, I'd highly recommend you do that sort of shit. Uh, read everything, you know, read all the memos, read all the notes. Uh, you'll enjoy the experience much more, okay. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, a couple of dogs, uh, spawn now. Uh, don't even bother killing it. Look, you can kill them, but save your ammo, alright, I'm going to open this padlock. I uh, probably should have done it later, but whatever. Okay, the dog's probably going to get me now. I just wanted to... Yep, there we go. Fucking dogs. Get the fuck out of here. Open the... Oh, fucking... Press it on the door. Fuck. There we go. Alright. The reason I used the padlock key then was because after using keys in this game, uh, and you don't need them anymore, the game will discard it for you. It'll say, do you wish to... Dis fucking hell. 
zombie. The game will say, do you wish to discard the key? Uh, always do this, okay, because it'll free up a slot in your inventory. Um, actually, one of my major gripes with this game is the fact that you can't discard items, okay? So, if I've got a full inventory here, you know, I don't, I've got one free slot, which is good, but if I didn't, and, uh, you know, I needed to drop a herb, so to speak, to pick up this briefcase, uh, the game won't let me, okay? It won't let you discard items. So, that's a really... that That's fucked, okay? That's one of my major gripes with this game. Other than that, you know, this game's fucking awesome. But, uh, whatever, you know, it's just a workaround. You have to deal with it. It doesn't matter. So, I've just used the fire hydrant there on that fire. Pick up the briefcase, okay? Um... What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Um... <laughs> don't know what the fuck I was doing there. Alright, but here we go. Pick up the briefcase. Alright, press start. Look at Now, what you need to do is, you can check items, alright? So check the briefcase, turn it around on its side. There's a button, okay? Examine it, press the button, there we go. Yes. Alright, now in here is the TG01, which, what I, what I was saying before is like the, and it explains it here, uh, you can go ahead and read it if you want, you can pause it, but, you know, I know what's going on. Uh, basically it's anti-metal, okay, so you can take this shit through the metal detector. Alright, so I need to go back to where I stored the Hawks emblem, and use that scanner, and duplicate it. Uh, using this TG alloy that I have, okay? Then bring it back through the metal detectors, take it here, put it in the gate, and I can get out of the prison area, okay? So the first hour, hour and a half, and it, you know, hour, hour and a half of the game is pretty much just, um, there was a dog just there, okay? Not necessary to waste ammo to kill the dogs there, I mean, you can just run back and forward through that open padlock door now. Um, it's all about conserving ammo, you know, trying to conserve your herbs as long as possible, alright? Um, because I, I actually remember the first time I went through this game, uh, I don't know if you'd call him the boss, but sort of, I'll just say the boss, anyway, uh, towards the end of this game. I didn't have any grenade launcher rounds left, okay? I didn't have any, um, you can actually get explosive tip arrows for your crossbow, you know, like, uh, explosive bows. Um, I didn't have any of those left. All I had was, like, 15 handgun bullets or whatever. And you have to fight this boss, okay? You cannot run past him. So, when I got up to that part of the game, you know, I was stuck. I couldn't, I couldn't finish it. I was fucked. But, you know, I'm older now and I realise what these games are all about. You know, it's all about conserving ammo, conserving your herbs. So now when I finish games like this, I've got about, you know, 460 handgun bullets left, 60,000 fucking grenade launcher rounds, 487 ink ribbons, and, you know, it's just out of control now, so. It's all good, though. <laughs> so I've just inserted that Hawks emblem in here, it's just going to scan that, okay. Alright, saves the data to the computer. Now I'll place the TG on that thing the alloy and it will carve us the hawks emblem out of that all right which is really cool that was quick took about two seconds beautiful all right so there we go alloy emblem basically the same thing you take up oh, uh oh windows are open windows have just been broken Zombies are in, I'm just gonna, oh you fucks, okay, just gonna run past them, haven't got any weapons here, I'm in the uh, metal detection area, so all my stuff's in the box, here we go, grab it out quickly before the zombies uh, fucking grab me, uh, that lighter as well, uh, I don't know what purpose it serves, whatsoever, okay, I the only part of the game I remember actually having to use it is at the very start when it says 
it's quite dark in here, maybe we should have some light and then it opens your inventory and all you have is a lighter and it says equip. That is the only time in the whole game that I uh, believe that you need to actually use that lighter, okay? Later on, when we find medicine for that guy that was at the start, he will give us the lock pick, like I said, you know, once you give him the medicine, uh, the lock pick will take the place of the lighter there, okay? So we won't have the lighter anymore after that. I can't remember if you give the lighter to someone or something happens to it, I can't remember, but whatever. Let's just get out of this uh, prison area now, okay? Zombies everywhere here, I'm probably gonna get fucking grabbed. Yep, there we go, fucking fucking frustrating okay but I don't want to waste my ammo like I said the first third of this game you're gonna be struggling a bit if you don't consider like if I was just going crazy you know and just shooting every single zombie I'd be fucked okay so just run wherever possible alright you don't need to kill the enemies in this game they don't drop loot like in Resident Evil 4 or 5 you know they don't drop gold or whatever it's this is old school Resident Evil here okay so there is no need, no benefit whatsoever to killing the enemies, alright? Okay. A bit of fire there, we can't go through there yet. I'm just going to go over here, there's usually some items. You can see some handgun ammo there. Grab that shit. Beautiful. Yep, cannot proceed, cannot proceed, cannot proceed. Alright, let's go. So to get through the fire, there's just a crate here. Um, what the fuck am I doing? I almost ran into that little fire there. Just push the crate over the fire, alright? And you'll be able to jump on top of the crate and go over the top. Very, very easy. First time I played this when I was a kid, you know, over a decade ago. Teenager, whatever. You know, this sort of shit took me hours to figure out. I just had no idea, okay? Uh, I was fucking terrible at these types of games, but, you know, I loved it. And now that I'm older, you know, this shit is a whole lot easier. No problem. Couple of zombies up here. Um, I just kill these ones, okay, because there are a few here. And... I'm not sure if these ones respawn, so for example, if I run past them, go through the door and then come back here, I'm not sure if, uh they will still be here um, probably will be but um you know kill them and they won't respawn okay in this area once you kill the ones here they will not come back alright which is really good so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the machine gun machine guns on these ones up here alright now straight up ahead there that's the way to the palace uh, you can either go there or this way to the military complex. Uh, I like to go to the military complex first, okay, before I go to the palace. Um, I'm not sure why. I think that, um, yeah, I don't know. That's just my preference. But you can do either, alright? It doesn't really matter. I just think uh, there's a lot, few more. You actually, oh no, that's right. That's why I go to the military complex because the bow gun. Okay, we actually get the bow gun weapon there. So I like to get completely stocked up, you know, weapon wise, ammo wise, herb wise. So this is why I go here first. All right, uh, to get all the items, the bow gun. You get a shitload of arrows for the bow gun as well. Like, however, you know, the zombies do take a lot of arrows to take down. A regular zombie will probably take about 12 arrows on average to uh, kill as opposed to like 6 bullets whatever. Fucking dogs here, okay, you can kill them. Um, I think if you kill these dogs they won't respawn here from memory but I'm just gonna run past them for now, okay, because I just don't give a shit and I can run past them. No point shooting them. Alright, so we're in the military complex now, there's a red herb there. Combine that with the green one, straight off the bat. Save myself a uh, inventory slot there. Some, uh, okay, there we go. So we've got the bow gun ammo now. 
Beautiful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go through this door first because it's just a uh, little office area, okay? Just a couple of zombies in there and there's a few items, so I'm just going to go ahead and loot this area first before I uh, go back the other way. There we go. See how she's uh, pointing the guns in both directions? I mean, there's... Fucking hell, that guy took a beating. Jesus Christ. Means there's zombies uh, both sides of me, okay? Um, there's one there as well. This zombie's on the ground, okay? If you walk close enough to him, he'll bite you. So just pump him full of a couple of bullets, you know? And he'll die and you won't get fucking bitten, okay? If you're on danger, you're fucked, you'll die, alright? My inventory is full now. I just picked up a green herb. Ah, oh, shit, there's a fucking zombie here. Let's kill him, come on. It's a great weapon, this uh, submachine gun, okay? Like I said, try to conserve it as much as possible, but, um... You know, it's no big deal if you don't. Um, but I just like to... I, I like to save it for dogs and fucked enemies, okay? That, that are a, no a pain in the ass to kill with the handgun, alright? So... You know, try and save it for the dogs and other shitty enemies that you have to face in this game. There's a uh, drawer there that we can't have access to yet. We need to get the lockpick. I believe that. I believe it contains. Uh, fuck, what does it contain? Fuck, I can't remember. I think it's the uh, arrows, fire arrows, like. Uh, yeah, explosive tip arrows, which is a really nice weapon, okay? pretty much kills a, a zombie in one hit or uh, big ass enemies that we encounter later in the game they take about two hits with it which is really good okay so try and save that ammo we'll get a fair bit of that in this game and I'm just hugging the wall here mashing X like crazy can't have don't have access to that locker there yet we need to get a key all right inside that locker is just um, yeah, I'll show you here, okay. Storage, yep, we need a key. So, inside there is just, um, explosive tip arrows, okay. Really nice, uh, ammo for the bow gun. Alright, so we'll go down the right here now. There's gonna be zombies here, alright. A few of them, probably three or four in this area kill them all because it's a pain in the ass to navigate this area without killing them alright you're gonna get grabbed all the time if you don't kill them um, it's very narrow as you can see you know just to my right here just check for items first alright so it's just a very narrow area you now it's just like a locker room um, you can't really run past the zombies here without getting grabbed alright so just go ahead and kill them that's fine and I'm just using the submachine guns to kill them, you know, because I just don't give a fuck. It's probably a good idea to use the submachine guns uh, a fair bit as well, because, I mean, they do take up two inventory slots, which is pretty taxing, you know what I mean? As opposed to just, you know, your handgun and your bullets take up two as well, I mean... You can have as much handgun ammo in that pile as you want, so I think at one stage I had about 245 handgun bullets, you know, and it still just took up one slot. They all just uh, stacked on top of each other, which was really good, you know, I thought they were just going to sort of stack in piles of about 50 or 100 or something, but, you know, that was really cool. So we'll go through here, and this is a sauna room in here, okay. There's a zombie there in the sauna. Kill him. I don't think there's anything in the sauna, but I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, nothing but just uh, hot air, whatever. Another zombie here. Probably don't need to kill him, but whatever. There actually is no point to killing that zombie here, okay? Because this is the only time in the game that we actually come to this area, alright? Um... Just got to shut off the water, no... 
Oh, that's right, there's a valve behind me. Yep, just run over to the valve, turn it, and it will shut off the water. And it will expose the key, okay? And that key is used to actually just unlock that little cabinet that we just encountered before in that little office room where I told you where the uh, explosive tip arrows were. So, go ahead and pick that up. We'll use it. Oh, fucking hell. I don't have any fucking... Um... I'm on light orange caution. I might as well just use a green and green herb. Yeah, that's alright. That's okay. I don't like it, but you know, I'm not going to fucking run to a security box or whatever, or a stash in the palace, just so I can come back here and fucking pick it up, you know. This is a walkthrough video, so I'm not going to waste time doing that sort of shit, you know. This is just going to flow beautifully. Yep, storage key. All right. I love the way, you know, every time you go to a door, I just love the way it cuts to a little door opening scene, like here. You know, creepy shit. You'd think, I thought it would just, I, first time I played this again, on the Xbox 360, I thought it would piss me off after a while. But you know, this this game is not an action game, you know what I mean? This is a uh, puzzle solving, creepy atmosphere, survival horror game, okay? So, it actually adds to the atmosphere, that type of shit, you know what I mean? It's really good. And I've just discarded that storage key there, because I didn't need it anymore. Like I said, always do that. It's going to free you up an inventory slot, okay? And I just picked up the explosive tip arrows, just check if I've forgotten anything. Nope, let's get out of here. Anything there? Nope. Alright. Probably the other gripe I have with this is playing as a chick, you know, whatever. It's not a massive gripe, but, you know, I'd prefer to be playing as Leon or, or Chris. I mean, we do get to play as Chris for the uh, second campaign, you know, there's two campaigns in this game, Claire's and Chris's. I'm just doing the walkthrough for Claire's now, because I've uh, demolished it already. But, um, I'll get around to doing Chris's after I've done this, you know. Um, you actually get to play as Steve, you know, that little kid we've been encountering uh, just recently in the game. You actually get to play as him for just a short period, you know, you just take control of his character for one section of the game. Um, he's got a submachine gun, it's pretty cool. I liked that part of the game. Alright, so we're going to get a nice cutscene here. Um, I really like this part, okay. So if you look in here, it's dark inside. There's test tubes. There's actually a picture on the wall in the back there. Um, just take note of that for now because uh, that's important for later on, alright? Um, there's actually a bow gun here. Fuck, I can't fucking carry it. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so here we go. Memo on the pass number. Um, ba I'm just skipping it because I already know where it is. Basically, the memo, the pass number is on that picture in that room there that I just had a look at, okay? So, that's where it is. Fuck. I'm going to have to use this green herb. I don't fucking like it one bit. I do not like this one bit, okay? This is why I said it pisses me off that I cannot discard items, alright? It fucking shits me. Why wasn't that included in the game? I don't know. But whatever, you know. I'm going to have to use this fucking herb here. I could shoot 10 handgun bullets, but... Pfft. Fuck, it's either the handgun bullets or the herb. Fuck it. Whatever. Alright, so I've got... But look at this now, watch, okay? I'm going to combine. Look. Oh, I've got a free slot now. Fucking hell, that, that is fucked, okay? I could have dropped the herb, picked it back up again, you know? <sighs> Whatever. Bring back the attaché case from Resident Evil 4. Ah, here we go. Look at this. This is awesome. I can't get the door open! Oh, shit. That's fucked. 
and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> there appears to be no one around. Red picture hanging in the back. Yeah, so you can't see the pass number from here, you know, to sort of counter this uh, emergency lockdown shit that's going on. You know, abnormal air anyway, it won't let you put it in. So, there's nothing left for us to do in here. Let's have one last look. Have I got... Is there anything on this table here? No. Alright, so we'll get out of here. And I think we're going to get a cutscene now, you know, a bit of a rip-off from Indiana Jones. Biohazard contamination detected. Level 3. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate immediately. Shutters close in Indiana Jones. Let's get under there. There, there we go. Just in time. <sighs> that was close. She just needed a hat and to drop the hat and pull the uh, hat from underneath the shutter, then it would have been 100% Raiders of the Lost Ark. Alright, so that door's uh, sealed now. We can't do anything more in this military complex, alright? So I'm going to go ahead and make our way to the palace. There's the bowgun powder that I was talking about, okay? You just uh, combine that with the bowgun, okay? And you will have a bowgun with about 10 arrows with the explosive tip on it. Very, very nice weapon, okay? Very, very good. It's basically as good as the grenade launcher in terms of damage, okay? Because uh, later on you're going to encounter these big-ass enemies that just take a fucking beating with the handgun, okay? You'll be shooting at them for like an hour, and you, you'll probably die before you can kill them with it, alright? But with the explosive tip arrows or rock, uh, sorry, grenade launcher... Uh, oh, fuck, there's fucking dogs here. Let me just kill them first, hang on. Fucking pull out the bullshit weapon for the dogs, okay? Very, very easy with the uh, double machine gun to kill. They don't take too much, alright? I think there's a couple more still here. Or one more, possibly, I'm not sure. No? Okay. She just thought there was one more, whatever. Well, I can hear... Yep, there we go, I heard footsteps. You fuck. You sneaky fuck. There we go. Alright, that should be it. This flashing thing here, this is the navy proof, alright? Um, I'm not going to pick it up just yet. Uh, we don't need it at this point in time, okay? Um, we can just leave it sitting there for the moment, alright? We use uh, that much, much later in the game, alright? Just before I go in the palace, I'm just going to go down here because there is a bit of handgun ammo and there is a palace map just around here, alright, which I want to grab before I go in the palace. There it is. Yep, take the palace map. Alright, and there's some handgun ammo here as well. And there's also some bowgun arrows just over here as well. Make sure you grab that. You know, the more ammo you have, the better. Just stock up like crazy on this shit, okay? Can't get enough of this this ammo. And here, I'll just examine this for a second. Octagonal hollow there, you know. Later on, we'll find like a ship steering wheel with an octagonal hollow that we need to insert in there. Alright. Basically, it brings up this submarine and it takes us to the airport. And in the airport... Uh, there's like a puzzle which we need to insert the navy proof in. Uh, there's two other proofs as well, like army proof and uh, air proof or some shit, okay? And basically it just unlocks some plane for us that we need to uh, get on to escape this island with the right, but that's much, much later in the game. We do not need to do anything in that regard just yet, alright? There's a herb over here. I'm not going to pick it up just yet because I do want to save that uh, inventory slot for now, okay? Because there's going to be like a uh, first aid spray in here. Yep, so that picture we're looking at there was just of uh, Sir Alfred. Um, if you've been reading the memos, if you've been pausing you know, and having a read in the memos, you know who uh, Sir Alfred is. He's sort of like the the boss of this island, you know, the prison, whatever. And he's one of the most, probably a very memorable character in video game history, okay? He's a fucking retard. 
Um, he's got problems. And you'll see all that shit when we encounter him. He speaks... He or she, I don't even know what the fuck it is, okay? He speaks like a fucking tool. Um, like I said, you know, the dialogue in this game is just out of control. It is fucked. It's very entertaining, though. I'll give it that, you know. Um, I just laugh whenever dialogue happens in this game. You know, it's just insane. I love it. Alright, we'll go in here first. There's going to be some bats, so I'm equipping the uh, dual machine gun now. Bats are fucking annoying in this game, alright? There they are, I'm just going to shoot them. Fuck off, there we go. Alright, can't hear him anymore. Oh, there's a briefcase here. Forgot about that. Fuck, I'm going to have to... Um, I think that just contains more... Uh, bowgun arrows from memory, like uh, the explosive ones. But I don't have the lock pick yet. You need a lock pick to uh, pick that pick pick that lock there. Handgun bullets. There's a first aid spray directly behind me on that sink. I don't have room to store it yet. Okay, uh, which is fucking annoying, but whatever. So, yep. Be careful of that. Okay. Uh, I've done that by mistake a couple of times. If you go to pick up an item, right, especially a first aid spray or herbs, and you don't have room and you're just mashing X, uh, the game actually brings up a menu and says, "Do you you don't have enough space to carry this? Do you wish to use this now?" And it's automatically selected on yes. So there's been times where I've just mashed the X button like crazy and I've accidentally used a first aid spray when I was on full health. And that fucking pissed me off to no end, okay? But trust me, none of these mistakes are going to happen in this walkthrough video. All of those mistakes were made in the first run through. Alright, so here we go. This is actually the first official, what I like to call, official save point, alright? Uh, secretary's note here. We've got a typewriter and a storage stash here, okay? So, I'm going to store couple of my items in that stash, run back outside, grab the navy proof and the herb, uh, come back in and save it, and I will leave it here for part one of this walkthrough, after I've done that, alright? Because we've been going for almost an hour now, so I think that's a long enough time to uh, make a walkthrough video, one hour for each uh, video I think, it's pretty good couple of handgun bullets on that shelf there. Alright, so here we go. Um, I'll store that case. Bowgun ammo. Bowgun powder. Um, I probably need to store something else for now. Probably that. Yeah. Yep. Just so I can pick up the other shit, okay? I'll come back for it. It's fine. Not going to save it yet. I'll save it after I've done all that shit. Um, over here, oh, there's a flashy thing on the ground. Make, gotta grab that shit. This flashing thing is actually the pass key. Um, if you notice, when we first entered the palace, there was a computer there, okay? Um, I'll just have a look at this card and show you. Check it. Turn it around, okay? And it's an ID card NTC 0394, okay? So that's sort of like the passcode for the computer in the uh, palace when we first enter there, okay? And that will unlock a door for us. Here's a locked door with two guns. We come to this one later, okay? Don't worry about that one yet. A couple of ink ribbons on the table there as well. I'll get them later. For now, I'm just gonna go back out and grab that navy proof and the green herb. And this is the part of the game, this is the, um, alright, so here we go, I'll actually, I'll just do this now, because uh, I believe after using it you can actually discard it, okay, and free up an inventory slot, so, NTC 0394, alright, whack that in and hit enter, enter, alright, and it should unlock the door behind us, from memory. Yep, there we go, beautiful. So we can go there now, discard the key, card, excellent. 
Yeah, so as I was saying, this is the actual part of the game which gets really, really good for me. Okay, um... You know, the first hour of this game is pretty much just, uh... Getting set up, getting your items, getting your weapons and whatnot. Um, and this is where the game gets really, really good, you know, survival horror. At its finest, we meet Sir Alfred, the fucking weirdo, weirdest enemy in video game history. And it's just good stuff from here on, okay? Quickly run back outside and get those two items. Green herb. I'm just going to combine it with that other one straight off the bat, okay? Like I said, always combine the herbs. It uh, not only has the benefit of saving you an inventory slot, but it virtually heals full health, okay? You only need to heal when you're on dark orange caution or if you if you want to run the risk when you're on danger, okay? But I don't really like doing that because, you know, one hit, you know, even a fucking bat can have the potential to fuck you up on danger. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to risk that shit, you know what I mean? Get killed by a fucking bat, that would be embarrassing. Alright, so run back in here. I'll store those items. I really hope they bring the attache case back in uh, Resident Evil 6, which is coming out later on this year. That was just a great way to store your shit, you know what I mean? Uh, this isn't too bad either, but it's a bit old school now, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of running back backwards and forwards and, you know, just annoying shit. But whatever. This game's over a decade old, so I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Alright, so I can probably, uh, yep, um, equip that, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game here guys, uh, this is the end of part one, uh, thanks for watching, and this is where the game gets really awesome, and I'll see you in the next video for part two, alright, thanks.